Here we're using an iPhone to check whether or not a shipment of magnets can ship via air. In our test setup, we have a test site 39 inches away, we have an iPhone, and 7 feet away, we have the sensor of an air shipment milligauss meter. The rule says that for a package shipped by air that has magnets in it, it must have a magnetic field of 2 milligauss or less, less than 2 milligauss at a distance of 7 feet away. Otherwise, it has to be labeled as a dangerous good, as a magnetic material. Here we use the milligauss meter and we zero it out to ignore the Earth's local magnetic field. The magnet meter app we're using on the iPhone has a similar function where we can zero it out for its current position. Just make sure not to move it after you zero out the meter. Here we test a DEX2 cylinder magnet. We chose this one because it's right at the limit. You can see it shows about minus 2 milligauss on the meter. Flip the magnet around and now it's plus 2. And that corresponds to about a 2 millitesla, millitesla number on the iPhone at that 39 inch distance. It's a pretty good correlation. So if you use your iPhone at this distance, it's a pretty good check. Here we do the same thing on two of those magnets stacked together. This acts like a larger magnet that's twice as tall. And you can see the magnetic field is about twice as strong. The meter is showing about four milligauss. And the iPhone at this distance is showing four millitesla. This would be too strong. You couldn't ship this by air unless you repackaged it, shielded the box, or labeled it as a dangerous good. Here the same two magnets are arranged side by side, which greatly reduces the magnetic field it projects around it. You can see this barely shows on the meter, and is a great way to ship magnets via air.